Hello everyone, I am Prakya Jain, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, HIT Mangalore. Today I am going to discuss about Model 3 of Fluid Mechanics, that is Class 6, Continued Portion of Fluid Dynamics. In this video, I am going to discuss about Inclined Venturi Meter Problems, Orifice Meter, Merits and Demerits of Orifice Meter, Comparison between Venturi Meter and Orifice Meter, and Problems related to Orifice Meter. Let's go for 11th problem. Find the discharge of water flowing through a pipe 30 cm diameter placed in an inclined position where a venturi meter is inserted, having throat diameter of 15 cm. The difference of pressure between main and throat is measured by liquid of specific gravity 0.6 in an inverted U tube, which gives a reading of 30 cm. The loss of head between main and throat is 0.2 times the kinetic energy of pipe. So discharge, you are supposed to find here discharge that is Q value of flowing fluid is water. So it flows through a pipe of diameter 30 centimeter and throat diameter is 15 centimeter. This problem is related to inclined venturi meter. So difference of pressure between main and throat is measured by a liquid of specific gravity 0.6 in an inverted U tube which gives reading of 30 centimeter. So difference of pressure that is measured by using inverted U tube manometer. So inverted U tube manometer. So inverted U tube manometer that contains manometric fluid which has specific gravity lower than that of the flowing fluid. So specific gravity of manometric fluid here is 0.6 and flowing fluid is water, its specific gravity is 1. So 0.6 is lesser than 1. So there's a case. So it gives a reading of 30 centimeter. So that is x equal to 30 centimeter or that is equal to 0.3 meter. The loss of head between main and throat is 0.2 times the kinetic energy of pipe. First, we have to know what is kinetic energy. So, kinetic energy is due to velocity of fluid. So, kinetic energy is given by V squared divided by 2G. So, loss of head, that is HL, HL is given as 0.2 times kinetic energy of pipe. So, for pipe, we are using notation or 0.1 and for throat, we are using 0.2. So, it is 0.2 times the kinetic energy of pipe. So HL equal to 0.2 into V1 squared divided by 2G because V1 is a velocity of flow through a pipe. So uh, if, if they give in some of the cases they are going to give 0.2 times kinetic energy of throat. That means you have to write 0.2 into V2 squared divided by 2G. But here it is 0.2 times kinetic energy of pipe. So 0.2 into V1 squared divided by 2G. So that is HL. So let me go for solution. First, you need to draw a diagram here. So, this is an inclined venturi meter. So, throat and uh, there is a pipe inlet. Uh, the fluid is flowing from uh, section 1 to section 2. And there is an inverted U tube manometer that contains manometric fluid of specific gravity 0.6 and gives a reading of 30 centimeter, that is x value or 0.3 meter. So, solution diameter at inlet d1 equal to 30 centimeter. So, that is a pipe inlet. So, that is equal to 30 divided by 100. So, that is equal to 0.3 meter. So, a1 that is equal to pi by 4 into d1 square. So, that is equal to pi by 4 into 0 0.30 square. So, that is equal to 0 0.0706858 meter square. Then similarly, diameter at throat, D2 equal to 15 centimeter, so 15 by 100, so that is equal to 0.15 meter. Then A2, A2 equal to pi by 4 D2 square, so that is equal to pi by 4 into 0.15 square, so that is equal to 0 0.0176715 meter square. Those are the cross-sectional areas, cross-sectional area of pipe and cross-sectional area of throat. So this is a diagram you are supposed to draw. Now, one thing you can see here in this problem, CD value it is not given in problem. So, you should go for Bernoulli's equation. You have to write Bernoulli's equation. Then you have to calculate V1 or V2 depending on the condition. Then using that you can calculate discharge because Q equal to A1 V1 that is equal to A2 V2. Otherwise, they are going to specify speed CD value in problem. Here you can see in 11th problem, there is no CD value. That means you should apply Bernoulli's equation between section 1 and 2. So, reading of differential manometer x equal to 30 centimeter. So, that is 30 divided by 100 that is equal to 0.3 meter. Difference of pressure head H is given by. So, this is a fourth case. Hope you remember where manometric fluid has specific gravity lower than 
the flowing fluid so the, the, here it is 0.6 is lesser than 1 so you should go for fourth case because it is inclined venturimeter so uh, difference of pressure head is given by h is given by h equal to p1 divided by rho g plus z1 minus p2 divided by rho g plus z2 so that is equal to x into 1 minus sl divided by so, so Z1 and Z2 you cannot neglect here because throat and uh, inlet section it has fi uh, f a finite value. So in case of horizontal venturimeter H equation was H equal to P1 divided by rho G minus P2 divided by rho G. So here it is you have to write H equal to P1 divided by rho G plus Z1 minus P2 divided by rho G plus Z2 that is equal to X into 1 minus SL divided by SO that is fourth case where SL equal to 0.6, SO equal to 1. So H equal to, let me go uh, use second equation, that is H equal to X into 1 minus SL divided by SO. So I can calculate H value by using that expression. So H equal to 0.3 into 1 minus 0.6 divided by 1. So that is equal to 0 0.12 meter of flowing water, or uh, flowing fluid. So flowing fluid here it is water. So 0 0.12 meter of water. So loss of head, that is HL, it is given in question as it is 0 0.2 times kinetic energy of or kinetic head of pipe. So 0 0.2 times kinetic head of pipe, so that is equal to 0 0.2 into V1 squared divided by 2G. Now applying Bernoulli's equation as sections 1 and 2, we get P1 divided by rho G plus Z1 plus V1 squared divided by 2G, that is equal to P2 divided by rho G plus Z2 plus V2 squared divided by 2G plus HL. Now uh, I'll make the rearrangement here uh, so that pressure head and potential head should be taken together. So P1 divided by rho G plus Z1 minus P2 divided by rho G plus Z2 plus V1 squared divided by 2G minus V2 squared divided by 2G that is equal to HL. Now what is P1 divided by rho G plus Z1 minus P2 divided by rho G plus Z2? So that is H that is the differential head. So difference of pressure, so P1 divided by rho G plus Z1 minus P2 divided by rho G plus Z2 that is equal to H. But we know value of H that is 0.12 meter of water. So I, I can just substitute in place of P1 divided by rho G plus Z1 minus P2 divided by rho G plus Z2 equal to 0.12. So I get expression, so HL equal to 0.2 into, so but we know HL equal to 0.2 into V1 squared divided by 2G. So I can substitute HL expression as well as H value in uh, this equation that is P1 divided by rho G plus Z1 minus P2 divided by rho G plus Z2 plus V1 squared divided by 2G minus V2 squared divided by 2G equal to HL. So I get expression as like this 0 0.12 plus V1 squared divided by 2G minus V2 squared divided by 2G that is equal to 0 0.2 into V1 squared divided by 2G. So 0 0.12 just make rearrangement 0 0.12 plus V1 squared divided by 2G minus V2 squared divided by 2G take HL to other side so it becomes negative minus 0 0.2 into V1 squared divided by 2G that is equal to 0. Now just uh, uh, simplify the expression 0 0.12 now V1 squared divided by 2G minus 0 0.2 into V1 squared divided by 2G that is 1 minus 0 0.2 so it is 0 0.8 so 0 0.12 plus 0 0.8 into V1 squared divided by 2G minus V2 squared divided by 2G that is equal to 0 take it as expression 1 now we have one expression or, or one equation but unknowns are two so you have to eliminate one unknown here so that can be eliminated by using continuity equation so that is applying continuity equation at section 1 and 2 we get a1 v1 equal to a2 v2 so a1 value we know a2 value we know just substitute so uh, 0 0.070 6858 V1 that is equal to 0 0.0176715 V2. So there's a continuity equation. So I can write expression for V2 or V1. So I'll go with V2. V2 equal to 0 0.070685 V1 divided by 0 0.0176715. So uh, upon simplification I get v2 equal to 4 v1 so substituting this value of v2 in equation 1 we get 0 0.12 plus 0 0.8 into v1 squared divided by 2g in place of v2 i can substitute 4 v1 so 4 v1 whole squared divided by 2g that is equal to 0 so 0 0.12 plus 0 0.8 into v1 squared divided by 2g minus 16 v1 squared divided by 2g that is equal to 0 now uh, 16 uh, minus 16 plus 0.8 that is minus 15.2 so 0 0.12 minus 15.2 v1 squared divided by 2g that is equal to 0 
और अपॉन रीअरेंजमेंट फिफ्टीन पॉइंट टू वी वन स्क्वायर डिवाइड बाई टू जी दैट इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट वन टू और वी वन स्क्वायर इक्वल टू पॉइंट वन टू इंटू टू इंटू नाइन पॉइंट एट वन बिकॉज जी वैल्यू इज नाइन पॉइंट एट वन दैट इज एक्सेलरेशन ड्यू टू ग्राविटी डिवाइडेड बाई फिफ्टीन पॉइंट टू सो वी गेट वी वन स्क्वायर इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट वन फाइव फोर एट नाइन फोर सेवन और टेकिंग स्क्वेर रूट वी वन इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट थ्री नाइन थ्री फाइव मीटर पर सेकेंड नाउ डिस्चार्ज दे हैव आस डिस्चार्ज क्या टू कैलकुलेट डिस्चार्ज सो डिस्चार्ज क्यू इक्वल टू ए वन वी वन दैट इज इक्वल टू ए टू वी टू बट वी हैव ए वन एंड वी वन वैल्यू सो वी कैन आई डायरेक्टली कैलकुलेट डिस्चार्ज एस ए वन वी वन इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सेवन जीरो सिक्स एट फाइव एट इन टू पॉइंट थ्री नाइन थ्री फाइव सो दैट इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू सेवन एट वन मीटर क्यू पर सेकेंड सो दैट इज अ डिस्चार्ज सो यू हैव टू सी यर दिस प्रॉब्लम सी डी वैल्यू इट इज नॉट गिवन सो सी डी वैल्यू इज नॉट गिवन मीन्स दे डिन टेल टू कैलकुलेट दिस सी डी वैल्यू सो यू हैव टू गो फॉर बर्नॉल इज इक्वेशन बिकॉज हेड इट इज गिवन इन टर्म्स ऑफ कैनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ पाइप so using bernoulli's equation you can calculate either v1 or v2 then apply continuity equation once you get velocity then get value of discharge so 12th problem a 30 cm by 15 cm venturi meter is provided in a vertical pipeline carrying oil of specific gravity 0.9 the flow being upwards the difference in elevation of throat section and entrance section of venturi meter is 30 cm The differential YouTube mercury manometer shows gauge deflection of twenty five centimeter. Calculate first one discharge of oil and second one the pressure difference between entrance section and throat section. Take coefficient of meter as point nine eight and specific gravity of mercury as thirteen point six. So there is thirteen thirty centimeter by fifteen centimeter venturi meter. So thirty centimeter that corresponds to inlet of venturi meter or pipe. Pipe diameter, so that is thirty centimeter. D one equal to thirty centimeter and fifteen centimeter. That is thought D two equal to fifteen centimeter. So it is this problem is related to vertical pipe having uh, or fixed width uh, venturi meter. So uh, carrying oil of specific gravity point nine. So flowing fluid is oil of specific gravity point nine. The flow being upwards, so it is flowing from section one to section two. That is from pipe inlet to throat section. so it is from 1 to 2 the difference in elevation of throat section and entrance section of venturi meter is 30 cm so what is the meaning of this sentence difference in elevation of throat section and entrance section of venturi meter is 30 cm fluid is flowing from section 1 to 2 that means 2 is at a higher level compared to section 1 so z2 minus z1 it is given clearly in problem as the difference in elevation of throat throat section is should be first then followed by entrance section so z2 minus z1 equal to 30 cm or that is equal to 0.3 meter the differential youtube mercury manometer shows a gauge deflection of 25 cm so that is x value that is equal to 25 cm or that is equal to 0.25 meter calculate discharge of oil so q is how much second one the pressure difference between entrance section and throat section that is p1 minus p2 it is clearly mentioned in problem pressure difference between entrance section and throat section p1 minus p2 entrance means 1 it corresponds to 0.1 throat section means it corresponds to 0.2 so p1 minus p2 take coefficient of meter as 0.98 that is cd value equal to 0.98 and specific gravity of mercury as 13.6 that is sh equal to 13.6 so let me start the problem uh, solution So diameter at inlet d1 equal to 30 centimeter, or that is equal to 0.3 meter. Uh, then I can calculate a1. A1 equal to pi by 4 d1 square. So that is equal to pi by 4 into 0.30 square. That is equal to 0.070658 meter square. So that is a1. So this is a diagram. You can see the fluid is flowing from or flowing fluid that is of oil of specific gravity 0.9 that is flowing from. Uh, or section one to section two, that is flow is upwards. So section one to two, you can see the arrow mark there, and the elevation difference between uh, the uh, thro thro section and inlet is that is thirty centimeter. That is that two minus that one equal to thirty centimeter. And in order to measure the pressure difference between uh, thro or uh, thro and pipe inlet, there's a YouTube manometer, so it shows a deflection of twenty five centimeter. So that is x value. So this is a diagram you are supposed to draw here. This diagram. 
So diameter at throat D2 equal to 15 centimeter. So that is equal to 0.15 meter. A2 equal to pi by 4 into D2 square. So that is equal to pi by 4 into 0.15 square. So that is equal to 0 0.017615 meter square. Let the section 1 represents inlet. Section 2 represents throat. So section 1 that is pipe inlet we are taking it as section 1 and uh, the pipe uh, throat diameter as section 2. Then throat then Z2 minus Z1 that is the difference in elevation between throat and pipe inlet that is given as 30 centimeter. So that is equal to 0.3 meter. Now specific gravity of flowing fluid that is oil so that is SO equal to 0.9 then specific gravity of mercury that is SH equal to 13.6. Reading of differential manometer, so that is x equal to 25 centimeter or that is equal to 0.25 meter. The differential head is given by, this is case 3, so vertical venturi meter having manometric fluid specific gravity greater than specific gravity of flowing fluid. Here 13.6 is greater than 0.9, so third case. So h equal to p1 divided by rho g plus z1 minus p2 divided by rho g plus z2 that is equal to x into sh divided by so minus 1. So there is a difference of pressure that is the h. So h equal to x into sh divided by so minus 1. So x value it is known, sh value we know, so value we know. So 0.25 into 13.6 divided by 0.9 minus 1. So that is equal to 3.5277 meter of flowing fluid. Flowing fluid here it is oil. So 3.5277 meter of oil. The rate of flow, rate of flow it is uh, given by expression q. q equal to cd into a1 a2 square root of 2 gh divided by square root of a1 square minus a2 square because cd value it is given in problem so you can directly go for formula method so cd value it is 0.98 so q equal to 0.98 into 0 0.0706858 into 0 0.017615 into square root of 2 into 9.81 into 3.5277 divided by square root of 0 0.0706858 square minus 0 0.017 6715 whole square. So that is equal to 0.14879 meter cube per second or you can convert to liter just dividing by 10 to the power minus 3 or multiplying by 10 to the power 3. So 0 0.14879 into 10 to the power 3 that becomes 148.79 liter per second. So that is a discharge first sub question. Now second sub question pressure difference between entrance and throat section. So in order to get pressure difference uh, there is a relation between pressure difference head uh, that is h equal to p1 divided by rho g plus z1 minus p2 divided by rho g plus z2 that is equal to x into sh divided by so minus 1. Now but we know h value. So h value it is 3.5277 meter of oil. So uh, p1 divided by rho g plus z1 minus p2 divided by rho g plus z2 that is equal to 3.5277. So just rearrange the expression P1 divided by rho g minus P2 divided by rho g. Why so? Why to rearrange like this? Because we need the pressure difference P1 minus P2. So rearrange such a way that the pressure head together and potential head together. P1 divided by rho g minus P2 divided by rho g plus Z1 minus Z2 that is equal to 3.5277. But Z2 minus Z1, that is the elevation difference between throat and inlet is 0.3. So Z2 minus Z1 equal to 0.3. But here in this expression, we have Z1 minus Z2. So Z1 minus Z2, that becomes minus 0.3 meter. Therefore, P1 divided by rho g minus P2 divided by rho g in place of Z1 minus Z2, uh, we have my, uh, minus 0.3 so minus 0.3 equal to 3.5277 therefore p1 divided by rho g minus p2 divided by rho g that is equal to 3.5277 plus 0.3 that is equal to 3.8277 so p1 minus p2 equal to 3.8277 just cross and multiply rho g so into rho g but what is rho that is rho of flowing fluid. So flowing fluid here uh, uh, oil of specific gravity 0.9. So to calculate density specific gravity equal to density of given fluid divided by density of standard fluid. Density of standard fluid is here density of, of water that is water is taken as standard that is 1000. So density of 
the given fluid or given oil that is equal to rho equal to specific gravity of oil into 1000. So 0.9 into 1000 so that is equal to 900 kg per meter cube. Now uh, we know g value that is acceleration due to gravity rho value we obtained so just substitute in p1 minus p2 equal to 3.8277 into rho g and get the value of p1 minus p2 so p1 minus p2 equal to 3.8277 into 900 into 9.81 so that is equal to 33794.76 newton per meter square so this is left to you you can convert from newton per meter square to newton per centimeter square it is left to you only if you find easy then you can convert otherwise you can keep in newton per meter square there is a standard unit or si unit so in order to convert to newton per centimeter square just divide by 10 to the power 4 because to convert from newton per centimeter square to newton per meter square you multiply it by 10 to the power 4 now it is exactly reverse so in order to get reverse thing you have to divide it by 10 to the power 4 because you multiplied there 10 to the power 4 here you have to divide by 10 to the power 4 so 33,074.76 divided by 10 to the power 4 so that is equal to 3.3794 newton per centimeter square there is a pressure difference p1 minus p2 so 13th problem a venturi meter is to be placed in a vertical line to measure rate of flow of benzene so specific gravity is 0.899 the inlet diameter of venturi meter is 200 mm and throat diameter is 87 point uh, 87.5 mm benzene mercury differential gauge is used to measure difference of pressure between inlet and throat of meter when the gauge reading is 100 mm fine first one gauge reading in mm of benzene second one velocity at throat and discharge take cd equal to 0.98 and for mercury specific gravity equal to 13.55 or you can just approximate it as 13.6 so so venture meter is to be placed in a vertical line so vertical pipeline so having venturi meter so it becomes vertical venturi meter the rate of flow of benzene so uh, here we are supposed to find rate of flow of uh, uh, we are supposed to find discharge and uh, velocity here so rate of flow of benzene because benzene is a flowing fluid it has specific gravity 0.899 the inlet diameter of venturi meter is 200 mm that is d1 equal to 200 mm throw diameter is 87.5 so that is d2 that is equal to 87.5 benzene mercury differential gauge is, you, is, is used to measure difference of pressure between inlet and throat of uh, uh, the meter so in order to measure p, uh, pressure difference between inlet and throat here they are using benzene mercury differential gauge when the gauge rating is 100 mm that is x equal to 100 mm so find the gauge rating in mm of benzene so you have to get gauge rating in terms of mm of a benzene and velocity at throat that is v2 and discharge that is q so take cd equal to 0.98 and for mercury specific gravity equal to 13.55 or you can approximate as 13.6 so solution specific gravity of benzene so flowing fluid here it is so so equal to 0.899 so benzene mercury differential gauge reading that is x equal to 100 mm so that is equal to at 100 divided by 1000 so that is equal to 0 0.1 because 1 meter equal to 1000 mm so so 100 divided by 1000 that is 0 0.1 meter then specific gravity of mercury that is sh you can assume 13.55 or 13.6 itself so cd value it is given as 0 0.98 this is a coefficient of discharge as cd value it is given in problem you need not go for Bernoulli's equation so you can directly go for formula method to calculate discharge so let me start the pro uh, solution diameter at inlet d1 equal to 200 mm so that is equal to 200 divided by 1000 that is equal to 0 0.2 meter therefore a1 equal to pi by 4 into d1 square that is equal to pi by 4 into 0 0.20 20 square equal to 0 0.031416 meter square diameter at throat d2 equal to 87.5 mm or that is equal to 0 0.0875 meter so a2 equal to pi by 4 d2 square so that is equal to pi by 4 into 0 0.0875 square so that is equal to 0 0.0060132 meter square so these are the cross-sectional areas a1 and a2 now gauge reading in mm of benzene so differential head h is given by uh, h equal to x into ss divided by so minus 1 so here z1 and z2 about z1 and z2 no information is given so you can use other expression h equal to x into sh divided by so minus 1 because the specific gravity of manometric fluid is greater than specific gravity of 
the flowing fluid that is 13.6 is greater than 0.899 so h equal to x into s divided by so minus 1 it, that is equal to 0.1 into 13.6 divided by 0.899 minus 1 so that is equal to 1.40724 meter of flowing fluid flowing fluid here it is benzene so 1.40724 meter of benzene but they have asked to find gauge rating in mm of mercury so 1 meter is 1000 mm so 1.40724 into 10 to the power 3 millimeter of benzene or that is equal to 1407407.24 uh, mm of benzene so there is a first sub question then rate of flow q equal to cd into a1 a2 square root of 2 gh divided by square root of a1 square minus a2 square so that is equal to 0.98 into 0 0.031416 into 0 0.006013 square root of 2 into 9.81 into 1.40724 but here you should be careful h value you are supposed to substitute in terms of meter not in mm because all units we are using meter square for area we are using meter square and g it is meter per second square so i have to be careful here I have to use h in terms of meter so 1.40724 divided by square root of 0 0.0314 one six square minus zero point zero zero six zero one three two square, so that is equal to zero point zero three one five four meter cube per second. So you can convert again to milliliter liter per second here. So just multiplying by ten to the power three. So zero point zero three one five four into ten to the power three. That is equal to thirty one point five four liter per second. So that is a discharge. Now once you get discharge, it is very easy to calculate velocity at throttle or velocity at pipe inlet. So Q equal to A1 V1 that is equal to A2 V2 because we know A1 A1 Q value A2 value you can use any expression but here they specifically asked find out the velocity at throttle so that is V2 so Q equal to A2 into V2 so Q value is 0 0.0 3154 here also you have to substitute in SI unit that is meter cube per second not in liter per second so 0 0.03154 that is equal to 0 0.0060132 into v2 or v2 equal to 0 0.03154 divided by 0 0.0060132 so that is equal to 5.2451 meter per second so there is a velocity at throat now next problem crude oil of specific gravity 0.85 flows upwards at a volume rate of flow of 60 liter per second through a vertical venturi meter with an inlet diameter of 200 mm and throat diameter of 100 mm the coefficient of discharge of the venturi meter is 0.98 the vertical distance between pressure tapping is 300 mm so first sub question if two pressure gauges are connected at the tappings such that they are positions positioned at the levels of their corresponding tapping points determine the difference of readings in newton per centimeter square of two pressure gauges second one if a mercury differential manometer is connected in place of pressure gauges to the tapping such that the connecting tube up to mercury are filled with oil determine difference in level of mercury column so that is x value we are supposed to find so here a cd value it is given in problem so you can go for formula method so crude oil of specific gravity 0.85 flows upwards so flows upwards it is given so it is flowing from section 1 to section 2 so it is 0.85 specific gravity of flowing fluid that is so equal to 0.85 so at a rate of 60 liter per second so that is q value 60 liter per second so with the inlet diameter of 200 mm that is d1 equal to 200 mm d2 equal to 100 mm that is throat diameter the coefficient of discharge of venturi meter is 0.98 that is cd value is 0.98 the vertical distance between pressure tappings is 300 mm so that is a pressure tappings the fluid is flowing from section 1 to 2 that means 2 is at higher level compared to uh, uh, 0.1 so z2 minus z1 equal to 300 mm or that is equal to 0.3 meter so this is a vertical venturi meter problem so if two pressure gauges are connected at the tapping such that they are positioned at the levels of their corresponding uh, tapping points determine difference of readings in newton per centimeter square of two pressure gauges so they connected two pressure gauges at section one and section two section two one corresponds to inlet of the pipe section two corresponds to throat of the 
uh, venturi meter so there are two well pressure gauges you know what is the function of pressure gauge so it is used to measure pressure pressure at a uh, particular point so pressure gauge at uh, section 1 that measures pressure at the inlet of the pipe and pressure gauge at section 2 that is at trot it measures the pressure of trot so p1 minus p2 that can be obtained by using pressure gauges so i have to calculate in terms of newton per centimeter square so in place of pressure gauges uh, in second case they they are going to connect one mercury differential uh, manometer so it shows a deflection of x because of the reduction in pressure that is uh, p1 minus p2 you are supposed to find uh, because of the pressure difference pressure at inlet is higher when compared to pressure at throat so because of that there is an elevation of x in youtube manometer so you are supposed to find that x value in second case so this is a diagram so vertical venturi meter so flow, fluid is flowing from uh, the section 1 to section 2 it is given in problem fluid flows upwards so difference between the elevation of uh, dif elevation difference between point 0.2 and 1 that is trot and uh, inlet of the pipe is 300 mm so that is 0.3 meter and uh, there is a youtube manometer this is actually related to second case so they are going to connect one youtube manometer to measure uh, the head difference or pressure difference so solution specific gravity of oil so equal to 0.85 so density rho equal to 0.85 into 1000 you know how to convert uh, from specific gravity to density so 0.85 into 1000 that is equal to 850 kg per meter cube discharge q equal to 60 liter per second so you can you have to convert from liter per second to meter cube per second so 60 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube per second so that is equal to 0 0.06 meter cube per second cd value that is 0.98 diameter at the inlet d1 equal to 200 mm that is equal to 0.2 meter so a1 equal to pi by 4 into d1 square that is equal to pi by 4 into 0.20 square so that is equal to 0 0.031416 meter square diameter at throat d2 equal to 100 mm so that is equal to 0.1 meter therefore a2 equal to pi by 4 into d2 square so that is equal to pi by 4 into 0 0.1 square that is equal to 0 0.00785 meter square let section 1 represents inlet section 2 represents throat i have already told about this thing so section 1 that corresponds to inlet of the pipe and section 2 that corresponds to throat of venturi meter then z2 minus z1 300 mm that is equal to 0.3 meter difference of readings in newton per centimeter of two pressure gauges so for that you need h value difference of pressure p1 minus p2 you need there is a relation correlation between h and p value that is h equal to p1 divided by rho g plus z1 minus p2 divided by rho g plus z2 so in order to get pressure difference we have to know h so that can be obtained from formula that is we know q value we know a1 a2 cd value so unknown uh, unknown parameter is h so by using formula because cd value it is given in problem we can obtain the h value so q equal to cd into a1 a2 square root of 2 gh divided by square root of a1 square minus a2 square so this is a correlation for discharge so discharge that is 0 0.06 so 0 0.06 equal to 0.98 into 0 0.031416 into 0 0.00785 into square root of 2 into 9.81 into h divided by 0 uh, square root of 0 0.031416 square minus 0 0.00785 square so just rearrange so 0 0.06 into uh, square root of 0 0.031416 square minus 0 0.00785 square divided by 0.98 into 0 0.031416 into 0 0.00785 that is equal to square root of 2 into 9.81 into h so uh, simplify left hand side so i obtain value as 7.55189 that is equal to square root of 2 into 9.81 into square root of h just splitting square root uh, in such a way that uh, unknown term are different and uh, known term different that is square root of 2 into 9.81 that is a known parameter you can calculate easily uh, into square root of h so square root of h equal to 7.55189 divided by square root of 2 into 9.81 so that is equal to 1.7049 
So that is square root of h equal to 1.7049. Square root of h means it is h to the power 1 by 2. Now we have to remember, remove that h to the power 1 by 2. That can be done by squaring. So h to the power 1 by 2 to whole square. That becomes, then you are going to cancel 2, 2. So remaining is h to the power 1. So you cannot square on one side. So I have to square on both sides. So h to the power 1 by 2 to the power 2. That is equal to 1.7049 square. So h equal to 2.90678 meter but for a vertical venturi meter that is case 3 so h equal to p1 divided by rho g plus z1 minus p2 divided by rho g plus z2 here z1 and z2 you cannot neglect because it is a vertical venturi meter so h value it is known 2.90678 that is equal to p1 divided by rho g plus z1 minus p2 divided by rho g plus z2 now separate pressure head terms and potential head terms p1 divided by rho g minus p2 divided by rho g plus z1 minus z2 so p1 divided by rho g minus p2 divided by rho g take to other side because we need value of p1 minus p2 so that is equal to 2.90678 minus z1 minus z2 so z1 minus z2 because when it goes to other side it becomes minus so minus z1 minus z2 so P1 divided by rho g minus P2 divided by rho g that is equal to 2.90678 so minus you can multiply inside so it becomes z2 minus z1 so plus z2 minus z1 that is equal to 2.90678 plus 0.3 because z2 minus z1 that is elevation difference it is 0.3 so 2.90678 plus 0.3 that is equal to 3.20678 so P1 minus P2 equal to 3.20678 into rho g just cross multiplying rho g to other side so 3.20678 rho of uh, there's a flowing fluid that is 850 into 9.81 so that is equal to 26739.73 newton per centimeter square so they told to obtain value in newton per centimeter square so in order to convert from newton per centimeter square to newton per meter square we multiplied by 10 to the power 4 so it is exactly reverse newton per meter square to newton per centimeter square just divide by 10 to the power 4 so 26739.73 divided by 10 to the power 4 so that is equal to 2.6739 newton per centimeter square so that is a pressure difference so you should be careful here in place of z1 minus z2 so it is given in problem z2 minus z1 so z1 minus z2 it becomes negative that is minus 0.3 that you have to take care here otherwise it is this problem is similar to previous problem so difference of levels of mercury column so when you are going to connect the differential youtube manometer in place of pressure gauges then you are going to get elevation that is x in the right column so the level of h is given by value of h is given by h equal to x into sh divided by so minus 1 because specific gravity of manometric fluid is greater than specific gravity of flowing fluid so uh, h value we know that is 2.90678 that is equal to x into 13.6 divided by 0.85 minus 1 so that is equal to 15x or 15x equal to 2.90678 or x equal to 2.90678 divided by 15 so that is equal to 0.1938 meter so you can convert to centimeter 1 meter equal to 100 centimeter so in place of meter you can just multiply by 100 centimeter so 0 0.1938 into 100 centimeter so that is equal to 19.38 centimeter of oil so there is a x value so those are related to venturi meter so next uh, let's go for orifice meter so, or it is called as orifice plate so what is the function of orifice meter or orifice plate so it is similar to venturi meter venturi meter is used to measure discharge of fluid similar case here also it is a device used for measuring rate of flow of fluid through a pipe so device for measuring rate of flow rate of flow means it is a discharge so it is used to measure rate of flow of a fluid through a pipe so it is a cheaper device compared to venturi meter so this is an advantage of orifice meter when compared to venturi meter its cost is less so it also works on same principle as that of venturi meter venturi meter works on principle of bernoulli's uh, theorem so here also same thing it works on bernoulli's uh, principle 
So it consists of flat circular plate which has circular sharp edged hole called orifice which is concentric with the pipe. So it is simply one circular plate which has concentric hole at the center. So that is concentric with pipe diameter. So it simply consists of one circular plate with one concentric hole at the center. Just remember like that. The orifice diameter is kept generally 0.5 times the diameter of the pipe. For diameter of the pipe, the notation is D1. So diameter of the orifice plate or orifice meter is D1 equal to 0.5 times D1. So or it can be varied from 0.4 to 0.48 times the pipe diameter. So D1 can be varied from D1 equal to 0.4 times 0.4 into D1 or uh, 0.8 into D1. So there's a theory portion. So this is the orifice meter. You can see the direction of flow. Fluid is flowing from left side to right side. And there is a differential manometer. Can you guess what is the reason of reason for using differential manometer? Again, same case as that of venturi meter to measure pressure difference or reduction in pressure. Inlet pressure is more compared to uh, throat pressure in case of venturi meter. So here, uh, the inlet pressure it is greater than the pressure P2. So P1 minus P2 that can be measured by using one a differential manometer so you can see there one orifice meter it is kept at the at some distance and there is a pipe and section one and section two so there's a differential manometer so let's discuss about how to take this section one and section two so a differential manometer is connected at section one which is at a distance of about 1.5 to 2.0 times pi, uh, pipe diameter so section 1 that is you can see the orifice meter there so it should be at a distance of 1.5 to or uh, 2 times the diameter of the pipe so that is 1.5 to 2 times the diameter of the pipe that is d1 so distance from orifice plate to the section 1 should be 1.5 to 2 times the d1 so then section 2 section 2 uh, and it, it is given 1.5 to 2 times the pipe diameter upstream from the orifice plate that means to the left hand side you are supposed to consider section 1 1 and section 2 which is uh, at a distance of about half the diameter of orifice on the downstream side of orifice plate so half the diameter section 2 should be considered at a distance of half the diameter or 0.5 times the diameter of orifice so diameter of the orifice is 0.5 into or a diameter of the orifice is DO. So distance from orifice meter to uh, section 2 should be 0.5 into DO. So that is the thing here. So it is to the downstream side. That means it is to the left hand side or right hand side of orifice meter. It is clearly mentioned in uh, a theory portion that is section 1 to the upstream side of orifice meter. That means to the left hand side. And section 2 should be on the downstream side. That is right hand side of orifice meter and distance it is given in problem you need not worry of uh, like the distance from orifice plate to section 1 or, or distance from section 2 to orifice meter you can just remember that values no need to write in a derivation portion so but you have to consider section 1 and section 2 as like this it is given in figure so okay let p1 equal to pressure at section 1 v1 equal to velocity at section 1 a1 equal to area of pipe at section 1 and P2, V2 v, uh, and A2 are corresponding values at section 2. Now, so now before going to derivation, uh, let me explain the working principle. So it again works on Bernoulli's principle here also. So the fluid flows from section 1 towards section 2. So, so in case of venture meter, there was the converging section and it was followed by throat section then diverging section here you, we don't have any converging section throat or uh, diverging section but it still works on principle of Bernoulli's principle so how to explain this uh, working of orifice meter so it is very simple section 1 and section 2 section 2 should be considered as vena contactor now what is vena contactor so you can see the uh, this dotted line and uh, the uh, section 2 that is considered at minimum area. So uh, vena contactor is a region of minimum area. So minimum area means 
what about velocity av equal to constant this is continuity equation or velocity equal to c by a so area is minimum that means velocity is maximum so we can define vena contact as region of lower or minimum area or maximum velocity so you can see the dotted line and area is minimum where they consider section 2 now the working principle is very simple initially pressure is high when the fluid enters to section 1 pressure is high so when it goes to section 2 so where area is minimum as a result velocity increases so velocity is inversely proportional to pressure so as a result of increase of pressure uh, velocity pressure decreases so pressure decreases means that difference of pressure should be measured so for that we are using one differential manometer that is p1 minus p2 p1 is greater than p2 because of the vena contactor vena contactor region has minimum area so maximum velocity maximum velocity means the pressure is minimum so p1 minus p2 that can be measured by using differential manometer according to Bernoulli's principle and the total energy remains constant so kinetic energy increases because of the increase in velocity so uh, the potential uh, this pressure energy should decrease so increase of velocity that results in increase of kinetic energy increase of kinetic energy in order to compensate that increase in kinetic energy pressure energy decreases so there is a principle Bernoulli's principle so now how that level x that goes up in a right limb because you can see the say a pressure at section 1 1 that is large pressure higher value of pressure so that pushes the manometric fluid downwards so it pushes downwards means it should go upwards in other section so as a result of that see there is an elevation of x of manometric fluid in uh, right limb because uh, there is no resistance resisting force when uh, from section 2 because the pressure at section 2 is lower when compared to pressure at section 1 so as a result there is an elevation of x level in right limb so because the pressure p1 that is greater so it pushes mercury column upwards in a section uh, in right limb so there's a working principle so applying Bernoulli's equation at sections 1 and 2 we get p1 divided by rho g plus z1 plus v1 squared divided by 2g that is equal to p2 divided by rho g plus z2 plus v2 squared divided by 2g or p1 divided by rho g plus z1 minus p2 divided by rho g plus z2 that is equal to v2 squared divided by 2g minus v1 squared divided by 2g taking pressure energy and uh, potential energy together uh, so that is p1 divided by rho g plus z1 minus p2 divided by rho g plus z2 that is equal to change in or difference of kinetic energy v2 squared divided by 2g minus v1 squared divided by 2g now what is p1 divided by rho g plus z1 minus p2 divided by rho g plus z2 so that is h that's the differential head or difference of pressure head so uh, this equation can be used for horizontal or inclined or vertical orifice meter so in uh, diagram it is actually a horizontal when uh, uh, sorry horizontal orifice meter so here i'll generalize the expression that is i am going to take p1 divided by rho g plus z1 minus p2 divided by rho g divided by uh, plus z2 equal to h so for a horizontal orifice meter z1 z2 that is equal so z1 minus z2 that becomes zero you can generalize it later so let's take the general case here p1 divided by rho g plus z1 minus p2 divided by rho g plus z2 that is equal to h so in place of p1 divided by rho g plus z1 and uh, minus p2 divided by rho g plus z2 i can substitute value as h so h equal to v2 squared divided by 2g minus v1 squared divided by 2g or just cross multiply 2gh equal to v2 square divided minus v1 square so v2 equal to square root of so just rearrange uh, v2 square equal to 2gh plus v1 square take square root v2 equal to square root of 2gh plus v1 square take it as expression 1 now section 2 is at vena contactor so, uh, i already explained about vena contactor it is a region of minimum area and maximum velocity and A2 represents area at the vena contactor because section 2 is at vena contactor so it's the area at vena contactor so if AO is the area of the orifice then we have so AO that is uh, the, uh, area of orifice meter or orifice plate so that is equal to pi by 4 into DO square because diameter of that orifice meter or orifice plate it is known that is DO so we, by using that we can calculate AO AO equal, AO equal to pi by 4 DO square now CC what is CC 
I already used this notation in pro solving problems. So CC is coefficient of contraction. So coefficient of contraction means it should be smaller value divided by larger value. So you can see here uh, in diagram, what is a smaller value in section two and orifice meter, orifice diameter. So section two, as I already told, it is an area of uh, it is a, a region of minimum cross section. So A2 is minimum compared to AO. So uh, CC equal to A2 divided by AO. That is coefficient of contraction. CC equal to A2 divided by AO, where CC equal to coefficient of contraction. Or A2, I can write it as A2 equal to CC into AO. Just cross multiplying. Take it as expression 2. But by continuity equation, we have for section 1 and 2, a1 v1 equal to a2 v2 or we know a2 equal to cc into ao. So I can just substitute v1 equal to a2 v2 divided by a1 or v1 equal to cc into ao into v2 divided by a1. You can take no, uh, no, uh, expression for v1 or v2, it is left to you. So I will go with v1, v1 equal to a2 v2 divided by a1. So v1 equal to cc into ao v2 divided by a1, just substituting value of a2 in expression. Then substituting value of v1 e in equation 1, we get v2 equal to square root of 2gh plus in place of v1, I can substitute as cc into ao uh, cc into ao into v2 divided by a1 whole square. So uh, squaring on both sides, so it, then it becomes v2 square equal to 2gh plus cc into ao v2 divided by a1 whole square or that is equal to 2gh plus separating uh, area ratio uh, uh, separating area ratio so that is a1 divided by a1 whole square into cc square v2 square so that's the expression for v2 square so now v2 square there is v2 square on right hand side as well as on left hand side so i can combine together so i can take v2 square uh, outside so this is a common uh, term so v2 square minus a a not a o divided by a1 whole square into cc square minus uh, into v2 square uh, that is equal to 2 gh so v2 square is common so 1 minus uh, a o divided by a1 whole square into cc square that is equal to 2 gh so now i can get expression for v2 so v2 square equal to 2 gh divided by uh, 1 minus a o divided by a1 whole square into cc square then in order to get v2 i have to just take square root so v2 equal to square root of 2gh divided by square root of 1 minus a o divided by a1 whole square into cc square so the discharge this is again similar to venturi meter problems discharge it is given by we know v2 uh, if you are going to write expression for v1 then you can take v1 so otherwise the, i have taken here v2 so i got expression for v2 so q equal to v2 into a2 so that is equal to a2 is cc into ao so q equal to uh, v2 into a2 that is equal to v2 into ao into cc so since a2 equal to cc into ao so q equal to just substitute v2 value uh, in expression so cc into ao into in place of v2 square root of 2gh divided by square root of 1 minus a1 divided by a1 whole square into cc square take it as expression 3 the above expression is simplified by using so hope you remember coefficient of discharge in venturi meter so similar way i have to write expression for orifice meter in terms of uh, coefficient of discharge that means you are supposed to eliminate coefficient of contraction so that can be eliminated, eliminated like this cc equal to just write like this cc equal to cd just write initially like that cc equal to cd into so i'll tell how to write this numerator and denominator numerator of this expression should be denominator of expression 3 so denominator of expression 3 is square root of 1 minus a divided by a1 whole square into cc square so just write cc equal to cd into square root of 1 minus a divided by a1 whole square into cc square just divide it by same terms but without cc square so that is square root of 1 minus a divided by a1 whole square so cc equal to cd into square root of 1 minus a divided by a1 whole square into cc square divided by square root of 1 minus a divided by a1 whole square so just substitute in place of cc this value so q equal to substituting value of cc in equation 3 we get q equal to 
in place of cc cd into square root of 1 minus a over by a1 whole square into cc square divided by square root of 1 minus a over by a1 whole square into a naught into square root of 2gh divided by 1 square root of 1 minus a over by a1 whole square into cc square so you can see here numerator and denominator there is square root of 1 minus a over by a1 whole square into cc square so you can just cancel so remaining terms Q equal to CD into AO square, uh, square root of 2GH divided by square root of 1 minus A over by A1 whole square. Now take LCM for denominator. So that is Q equal to CD into AO square root of 2GH divided by square, square root of A1 square minus A2, A, 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 A square divided by A1 square. So that is why taking LCM. S next. Uh, that is equal to q equal to cd into ao into square root of 2gh divided by a1 square minus ao square divided by a1 square now uh, just split up the square root in denominator so q equal to cd into ao square root of 2gh divided by square root of a1 square minus a, a, ao square divided by square root of a1 square so there is one divided by square root of a1 square so square root of a1 square that becomes a1 so that gives goes to numerator so Q equal to CD into A1 into AO square root of 2GH divided by square root of A1 square minus AO square. There's an expression for coefficient uh, uh, Q. There's a discharge of orifice meter. So you can see this expression. This expression is similar to venturi meter. But in place of A2, there is AO. Uh, you can, that is a just modification you are supposed to do and in place of a1 a2 there is a1 into AO. so cd into a1 AO into square root of 2 gs divided by square root of a1 square minus AO square in problem orifice diameter will be given instead of throat diameter so where cd equal to coefficient of discharge for orifice meter the coefficient of discharge for orifice meter is much smaller than that for venturi meter so usually cd value for orifice meter it ranges from 0 0.60 to 0 0.64 when compared to venturi meter venturi meter has coefficient of discharge that is 0 0.94 to 0 0.98 so cd value of orifice meter is smaller when compared to venturi meter so merits and demerits of orifice meter so merit it is simple in construction i already told about this thing in theory portion of uh, orifice meter and hence cost of installation and replacement is cheaper as compared to venturi meter it requires less space to install so orifice meter it is compact is of small size so it requires less space to install then demerits the rate of flow of liquid measured by orifice meter is not so accurate as measured by venturi meter this is due to more losses in orifice plate so rate of flow that is discharge q that is measured by orifice meter is not accurate as that of venturi meter that is just because of losses uh, because cd value of orifice meter it is small uh, when compared to cd value of uh, orifice uh, venturi meter so cd value of uh, orifice meter small means that means uh, the losses are more so cd expression you know cd equal to square root of h minus hf divided by h so losses more means h minus hf that becomes small value small small value divided by a uh, greater value that gives smaller value so cd value is small so because of uh, losses the coefficient of discharge is small value so because of that the rate of discharge that is measured by orifice meter is not that much accurate as compared to venturi meter so those are the merits and demerits so comparison between venturi meter and orifice meter this is very important question so venturi meter and orifice meter so first point the losses are very less uh, hence the value of cd is high so cd value it is high as i already told it ranges from 0.94 to 0.98 because losses are less the for orifice meter the losses are more and cd value of uh, cd value is low that is cd value that ranges from 0 0.60 to 0 0.64 so second one for venturi meter it cannot be installed where space is limited so as compared to orifice meter venturi meter it is not compact it is of bigger size so orifice meter it requires less space because it is a compact third one for venturi meter it is costly for installation and replacement compared to uh, 
orifice meter it is costly a venturi meter is costly because it has converging section throat and diverging section whereas uh, this orifice meter it doesn't have those uh, sections so next uh, fourth point it is used for measurement of higher rates of flow so it is used for measuring high rate of flow that is high rate of high values of q whereas a uh, orifice meter it is used for measurement of moderate or low rates of flow so small value or medium values of q that can be measured by using orifice meter this question is very important comparison between venturi meter and orifice meter just start with cd value cd value is higher for venturi meter and cd value is lower for orifice meter because there is no uh, much loss in a venturi meter compared to orifice meter then uh, cost for venture meter it is high when compared to orifice the meter then third point uh, it is costly for installation uh, and uh, replacement that's what then uh, uh, the venture meter it is not compact whereas uh, orifice meter it is compact or small size the last one it is used for measurement of uh, high rates of flow and uh, orifice meter uh, it is used for measurement of low or moderate rates of flow so those are the points so let me go for uh, the problem related to orifice meter there, is, there are only two problems in this section of orifice meter so one problem i'm going to solve here other problem that will be given as assignment so first question an orifice meter with orifice diameter 15 centimeter is inserted in a pipe of 30 centimeter diameter the pressure difference measured by mercury oil differential manometer on the two sides of orifice meter gives a reading of 50 centimeter of mercury Find the rate of flow of oil of specific gravity 0.9 when the coefficient of discharge of the meter equal to 0.64. So orifice meter. So with the orifice diameter that is dy equal to 15 centimeter is inserted in a pipe of 30 centimeter diameter. So that is d1 equal to 30 centimeter. The pressure difference measured by mercury oil differential manometer on the two sides of orifice meter gives a reading of 50 centimeter of mercury. So pressure difference that is measured by mercury differential manometer so it gives x value as 50 centimeter find the rate of flow that is q is how much when specific uh, oil of specific gravity point and that flows so flowing fluid of specific gravity point and that is so equal to 0.9 when the coefficient of discharge of meter equal to 0.64 the cd value it is given as 0.64 so solution there is no diagram for this problem we can directly start with the solution so diameter of the orifice dy equal to 15 centimeter so that is equal to 0.15 meter so area AO equal to pi by 4 d o square so that is equal to pi by pi into 0.15 square divided by 4 that is equal to 0 0.01767 meter square the diameter of the pipe that is d1 that is equal to 30 centimeter that is equal to 0.3 meter Therefore, area equal to a1 equal to pi, pi by 4 into d1 square that is equal to pi by 4 into 0.3 square that is equal to 0 0.0706858 meter square. The specific gravity of flowing fluid that is oil of specific gravity 0.9. So, SY equal to 0.9. Difference of mercury level so that is x value it is given x equal to 50 centimeter of mercury so 50 centimeter of mercury 50 divided by 100 so 0.5 meter of mercury uh, therefore difference of pressure head x equal to h equal to x into sh divided by so minus 1 or you can go with the sg so or sh so it is better to use as sh x equal to x into sh divided by so minus 1 so sh is specific gravity of manometric fluid here it is mercury so that is equal to 13.6 so h equal to 0 0.5 into 13.6 divided by 0 0.9 minus 1 so that is equal to 7.05 meter of flowing fluid flowing fluid here it is oil so 7.05 meter of oil cd value it is given as 0.64 the rate of flow q equal to cd into a1 a o into square root of 2 gh divided by a1 square minus a o square is similar to venturi meter pro, uh, equation but you have to replace a2 by a o that is area of the orifice so q equal to 0.64 into 0 0.0706858 into 0 0.01767 into square root of 2 into 9.81 into 7.05 divided by square root of 0 0.0706858 square minus 0 0.01767 square so that is equal to upon simplification we get 0 0.13741 meter cube per second so that's the discharge so you can convert to liter just multiplying by 10 to the power 
3. So 137.414 liter per second. There's a rate of discharge or rate of flow. So this problem is related to orifice meter. In next video, I'm going to explain about pitot tube, its related problems and uh, notches and uh, uh, two types of notch that is rectangular notch and triangular notch and its related problems. Okay, thank you.